Well, wouldn't it be great if you could just go buy a whole new wardrobe for fall? Most people can't do that. I know I certainly can. So you need to know what to add to your fall wardrobe to make you look updated. That old stuff can look new again. Mila Grigg is going to show us how to do that. Yes, and fall 2014 is really exciting. A lot of mixed media, which just means there are a lot of patterns and layers going over tons of different, you know, you have silks and you have plaids and all that feels good and it looks chunky and fun. Yeah. So new stuff this season, and it's hard. You have to discern between the magazines and what we really can wear. Right. So that's what we've done today. Okay, great. Tell me about this. This is a graphic look. Yes, everybody should pick one thing that is a print, whether it's a geometric or you know, tribal, something that's a really bold print. And I always like to do fun cardigans. It's not really a cardigan. It's sort of in between yeah. a cape and a cardi. So it's really fun, but it goes lower. And anything, again, that brings the eye into the middle, that's always something I talk about. It makes you look thinner. But the bold print is a beautiful thing. And if you feel overwhelmed by the bold, just like the mannequin, wear something underneath. It's really monochromatic. Nice. Yeah. Wide leg pants with this. Oh, wide leg pants are really in this season. That's one of the top trends. And the beautiful thing is if you don't go too wide, you know, there's wide and then there's extra wide. Right. You know, just try to stay in the wide range. And it'll be in season for a long time to come. And it goes with most body shapes and types, creates a balanced look from head to toe. So it's nice. Yeah. yeah very good. Very animal good. Print. Animal print. Always in these oh, days, right? When, when is this not in, right? Yeah. But the nice thing about animal print this season is they're doing it in tunics mm -hmm. as well. So you can put it over your tight pants, your skinny jeans kind of a thing. Skinny jeans are still in, right. of course. And then you have the leather accents starting to pick up. And this is a trend that we will not see going for a really long time. Okay, yeah. great. So if you want to do a little more leather. Right, the leather jackets are in. And we talked earlier about the bomber. Why do you have to get a bomber and look boxy? Get a leather jacket that has some really beautiful lines. Lines. It's cut really well. You can even see in the back of the shack the lines come in, and there's like a, a half peplum on the back. It's gorgeous. So it's sucking you in, and it's a color that won't go out of style. Don't go black, it's a little too harsh. Okay. Yeah, good. go with the browns, tans, but cognacs. If you've never had a leather skirt before, this might be the yes. season to invest in it. This is the season. You can do light sweaters over this. You can do this is a great outfit. You have sort of a capey look here, mixing and matching that monochromatic dark brown with the lighter and then the V-neck and chunky jewelry, that statement piece is in again. So invest in the leather skirt. You can wear it to church with a nice sweater. You can wear it out with a pair of heels. It's the way to go. Okay, good. Now, if you yes. want to do pants with leather. Yes, leather accents are big anywhere. I mean, I even have it on my pocket from last season. So these trends are carrying through, and we're seeing them come back again and again. It's worth the investment. Faux leather or leather, whichever one. But little tip or little accents here and there, whether it's a pant, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a sweater, all of those things are worthy. I mean, go ahead and get at least one of those this season. Okay. We mentioned yeah. the wide leg pant is yes, big. Yes, it's beautiful. And a lot of women will say, hey, look, I'm just, I'm, I'm with the kids. I don't want to get, you know, I, I need to invest in something, but I don't need it to be something that gets dirty. Invest in one blouse. Okay. And put it in the Sangria family, whether it's lighter or darker. Sangria is going to be in, it goes with most colors of, you know, colors, uh, whether you're blush or tan, sangria is beautiful. So go ahead and get it. You can wear it with your jeans. You can wear it with your leather leggings. Nice. Or, of course, you can put it with a skirt. But invest in one beautiful blouse. Don't be afraid of doing it. You can even go ahead and throw a cardigan over it and dress it down or dress it up. But that's one of those investment pieces you should not miss this that's season. That's beautiful. Yeah. Chunky sweaters are supposed to be in, but you say, eh, maybe not so oh, much. I'm never into chunky sweaters, it, just in general, unless you're a size two and you can pull it off. But if you are like most most of us, and you are, you know, eight to uh, eighteen. You do not want a chunky sweater. Okay. Th this is what I'm going for: the long, lean look. Even the piping on this brings in the eye. It makes you look thinner. Again, you have that faux. This isn't even a faux leather. This just looks like leather. a faux leather. Yeah. Like a, yeah. But it's so cute, and you have the piping. And this is a very thin material. Nashville is one of those towns that doesn't get too cold. And of course, in that transition, what do you wear? This is what you're going for right here. Don't go for knit. Don't go for chunk. Much better option. All right, Mila, some great ideas. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can find Mila at modaimageconsulting.com and all these clothes we found today at Cool Springs Galleria at the Dillard store.